Tailwind has changed a lot in the almost six years since I started using this tool as a beginner blogger. It used to be the only scheduling tool that you would ever hear about when it came to using Pinterest and scheduling and all of that. Every piece of content you go and visit about Pinterest marketing, almost all of them, not a lot of mine, I mean, I've really diversified, but a lot of other marketers are still talking heavily about Tailwind. So what is Tailwind and how do you use it in 2022? This video is going to show you the brand new face of what Tailwind looks like. PSA, I actually had to request access to the new dashboard on my own account to even do this video. So if you don't have this dashboard, you can request it through their help desk. I'm gonna walk you through what it looks like to schedule your new pins in this new Tailwind dashboard in 2022. And then I'm gonna give you a bit of a review and whether or not I, as a Pinterest marketer, would invest in Tailwind in 2022 with their new pricing tier and what's included in all of that. I know you're here for the tutorial, so let's jump right on into that. Welcome to your new Tailwind dashboard. This dashboard looks completely different than the old version, and I actually had to request this one to even do this tutorial. So here we go. Because this is brand new, many of you may be coming to this video wondering and not like you're brand new to Tailwind, wondering how to use this. And if you're not, and you do want the new version and you're on the old version of Tailwind, you're a prior user, all you have to do is reach out via this little question box down here and they will actually put you into the new dashboard. So first things first, you need to prep all of your descriptions and titles. So let me move this little bar out of the way. And I actually do this inside of my content planning so everything starts in my content plan here and then it moves into my marketing plan. The very first pin I create for anything I do is in this list. And when this is marked as completed, it actually flows into my Pinterest system and that's where we're working out of today. So anything that comes into this system, I know that I have created pins for it already and as a first round and I need to create new pins for them. So I have pre-prepped titles, descriptions, and I actually filmed another tutorial using Planoly, and I have some of the images in here from that video. So we are going to bulk upload our designs. So you get two options. You can create designs with their Tailwind Create option. I don't like it, so I don't use it. And I simply just go here and choose the medium that I wanna upload to. So that's gonna be Pinterest, Heather Ferris and Co. Pinterest account. And then I need to unzip this file, but in the meantime, we can go ahead and upload that video pin and it's going to have you confirm. So you can add your first one and go ahead and click add more. So if you need to go find other files in, on your computer, you can do that and then click uh, confirm and it will add it to your drafts. Now on here on the left, any accounts that you've ever had connected to your Tailwind account are going to be listed over here. So just make sure you have the one selected that you need and then all of these are actually chosen right now so we can click bulk schedule and it's going to open up a window and they're all going to be listed here so this acts almost like the pinterest native scheduler where you have one image and you can go through and actually see them all so we're going to start pulling these out so this is my promoted pins guide since i already pre-wrote all of this out i simply just have to grab and paste just copy paste and then from here, this is where things get a little bit different. So you can pull out your saved board list if you want to, or you can simply just start typing in and pull out the boards that are yours. And down here, it's going to give you, based on smart schedule recommendations, you can change this here if you want to, or you can simply choose a time slot. So if you do check that, if you click that little gear icon, it's gonna pull in your already set up smart schedule. Now you can see that the, there are a ton of pins slots here and I'm not gonna use them all. We're actually just gonna choose one smart schedule date. So this auto saves for you, thankfully. We're gonna choose our board again because, oh, it actually is already there. And we're gonna choose our time. So Tuesday, today, uh, February 8th at 1257 Mountain Time. And then community pins, this is adding any of your pins to your communities. Now it won't actually add them to your communities until 
your pin is published. So once it publishes a Pinterest, it will publish to your community. So this is like the scheduling feature to communities that we've been waiting for for years. So click add to communities and it's going to basically schedule it for later. And then it's going to schedule it to all of them at the same time. Like It's going to put them in all of them. So just be aware of that and click schedule post. Now from here, I'm going to actually take you over to the publisher and we're going to come back to this in a moment. So you can see this is the actual, this is the old view for some reason. Uh, they, they're not fully swapped over to the new view. So if you do see this, that's what that's for. But go to your home screen and you'll see the new view of a scheduled content. So right here on the 8th, there will be a Pinterest image listed there. So just know if you go to publisher, it's the old view, but you need to go to home to see the new view and you can open this up. You can pin it. It's going to auto. It's going to tell you it's a pin. It's going to auto post. You can edit it, unschedule it or delete it from here. And that's it. Those are your only options. So if you want to edit it, change the board, change anything about it, you'll need to open that up and change that. So back in drafts, again, remember, you'll have to unselect anything that you don't actually want to view. All you have to do is continue to do the same exact thing for all of the remainder of your pins. And that's it. That's pretty much the only thing that has changed about um, Tailwind is the new dashboard because they really aren't um, a Pinterest only scheduler anymore. They want to be a general social media scheduler. So for this one, we're just going to go ahead and schedule one more pin just so you can see what this looks like one more time. So the new Tailwind search feature doesn't actually pull up the boards the way that I want them to be pulled up. And it's because my boards haven't been refreshed in a while. So I actually renamed this one. And then we're gonna choose a custom time, the ninth. Cause I don't wanna schedule it for today. It's only gonna give you open time slots. So you may wanna actually, if you wanna schedule only one pin per day, you may want to actually change your schedule to only be one pin per day in your smart schedule. That way it only comes up with the time slots that are actually available. And it doesn't make you do smart scheduling um, or non-smart scheduling, I should say. And that's it. That's how you use the new Tailwind dashboard in 2022. That's it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the new face of Tailwind. I'm not lying when I say that it looks a lot like later and planally now, they do look a lot like those other platforms. However, if you want to see the full old view of scheduling your pins and like all of them, uh, you know, over to the right, you can go to that publisher icon on the left hand side of your screen and you'll see that. 2022, as a marketer, would I invest in Tailwind as a scheduling tool? The answer might surprise you. It might not surprise you. Literally in the middle of filming this video, the first iteration of this video, I went and double checked the pricing tables and I'm glad I did because it changed my answer. So let's dive in, shall we? Because my polarizing opinion prior to checking their pricing again, and I just outlined this video two weeks ago, was a wholeheartedly no, I was not going to recommend using it in 2022 with their old pricing structure. They changed it, and the answer to that an that no has now flipped to a yes. I would recommend you to use Tailwind in 2022 as a scheduling tool, knowing that Tailwind, Planoly, Later, Buffer, Hootsuite, doesn't matter what scheduler you use, none of them are going to help you get to your goal of being found on Pinterest faster, but they are going to help you to be consistent longer and consistency on Pinterest wins the game every time. Paired with SEO and images and all of that stuff, you know what I mean. New pricing tiers on Tailwind in 2022 are simple, $14.99 per month if you pay monthly, $9.99 per month if you pay annually, billed at $119.98. You get one Pinterest profile, five communities for free with 30 submissions to your communities per month, which means if you made one fresh pin per day, you could add each of those fresh pins one time to a community. You get their analytics. So basically their whole pricing structure actually shifted back to the old model. 
because a lot of people were complaining, I think. Prior to filming this video, the way I had it outlined and the pricing structure I had screenshotted was $119.98 per year for three profiles, 100 posts for all three profiles. They changed that pricing structure and navigated back to the old pricing structure, the grandfathered pricing structure of $9.99 per month billed annually, unlimited posts, interval pinning, five free communities. The only major difference between the piloted pricing plan that they were trying to test out in this old one is you had 200 Tailwind Create pins per month. Now they want you to actually pay $74 per year to use Tailwind Create. You get five free Tailwind Create pins per month or five free Instagram Tailwind Create posts per month. However, if you were planning on using Tailwind for both Instagram and Pinterest, you will need two plus plans billed at $9.99 per month per year. I don't use it for anything other than Pinterest. In fact, to be fully transparent, I'm not using Tailwind anymore except for videos like this, courses in my community, and to support my community and my clients as a whole. I feel it is my duty as a Pinterest agency to be subscribed and pay for tools, even though I may not be using them, just so I can stay ahead of the game. In instances like this, when I had already filmed this video and I had to throw it away because I double checked their pricing structure and it changed, that's why it's important for me to stay subscribed to this tool so I can make videos like this for you. So in 2022, if you're looking for a scheduling tool and you're not looking for fast hacks or fast growth, I think Tailwind is still a viable solution for you. And I hope that you give it a try. In the description down below, you will find links for my academy where there is a full Tailwind course. You will be getting an updated version of that course in April. And I hope that you come and join us. If you want more scheduling content or Pinterest marketing strategy, head right on over here and watch these videos. And that's it for me today.